SMS Bump is my favorite app to quickly gain more sales and increase overall profitability on any Shopify store. I spent $103 to make back over $19,000 in sales using this app. And so in this video, I wanna show you how you can leverage text message marketing for Black Friday and Cyber Monday to scale your business profitably. And if you're not familiar with SMS Bump yet, it's the number one text message marketing and abandoned cart recovery app that allows you to collect your customers' phone numbers at checkout and drive sales through automated SMS campaigns. It's completely free to install and costs less than two cents per text message to begin driving sales. In the previous video on the channel, I walked you through step-by-step -step how to build an automated abandoned cart reminder sequence. So if a customer adds a product to their cart on your store, they add their phone number at checkout, but they decide not to purchase, we can follow up with these customers by providing them with a discount code to go back to their cart and make a purchase. Customers respond much better to SMS marketing than email marketing, and the return on investment can be much, much higher. For example, I managed over an 18,000% ROI on this store using a simple two-step abandoned cart recovery flow that would send my customers text messages both five minutes and one hour after they abandoned their cart on my store. And the reason why the return on investment is so high is because it's so cheap to send these text messages. You can send a text for less than two pennies. And so if you make a sale, the return is always gonna be really great. And now I'm excited to teach you how to schedule an automatic SMS campaign for Black Friday and Cyber Monday to explode your sales in Q4. The very first step to maximize these campaigns is to begin building a solid subscriber list. And after we click the button, we see that we have a few different ways to begin collecting subscribers for the store. The two easiest ways are gonna to be to use the pop-up and the floating budget, along with collecting them at checkout as I showed in the previous video, which I'll link at the end of this one. So let's start by creating a new pop-up form to add to our store to begin growing our subscriber list. The first step to begin designing the form is to select a theme from the many options that are available. I like this one here with the weights because I think it's simple, clean, and virtually all set up for us. And we have the ability to update this theme however we like. So if we select the form button on the left-hand side of the screen, we can start by removing this image and adding in whatever we like that matches our store. We can also change the background color and also change you know, the corners that are around this box. We can change the form type to be inline or block. I prefer block and then same thing with the button style. We can do block or inline again. I prefer block, so I'm gonna leave this as is. And on the next tab, we can update both the header text as well as the description text. But in my opinion, the way that they have it set up, it converts really well. So I don't really suggest updating it unless you wanna do something like give away a bigger discount code. Let's say you wanna do 15% instead of 10, you can update that here. One other thing you might wanna do is update the font so that it matches whatever font you have on your store. The next step is to go to the country field and then select the mandatory box because we wanna know where our customers are coming from and where our texts are going. When we select the phone field, it's already set to mandatory. So a customer is gonna to have to put their phone number in in order to receive the text that's gonna get them the discount. We're gonna leave the email field blank because we're only concerned with phone numbers at this time. And then if we wanna update the button, you can do so here. Now, in terms of compliance and regulations, we wanna be sure that the checkbox is mandatory for customers to select because we want to assure that they agree to receiving the text messages that we'll be sending them. The close button is already pre-selected for us, so there's not much for us to do there. Moving on to the compliance tab, you wanna be sure that you add in your privacy policy links as well as your terms of service links um, into this section. Now, if you're unsure about these links, SMS Bump has a full compliance tutorial available on their dashboard for you to access at any time. So be sure to check that out if you're unsure. And now that we've finished designing the opt-in part of the form, we can click this arrow right here to begin editing what customers will see after they put in their phone number. So this is what's called the success part of the form. Now we can go in and edit all anything that we want again. Um, the only thing that I would suggest updating is the main image. You wanna be sure that it matches your store. So you can go ahead and remove what's currently on here and upload any image that you like. And once you're satisfied with the overall design of the form, we'll select this arrow right here to move on to the behavior section. Here we have the ability to adjust when the pop-up form is shown to customers and how frequently. So if we look at the timing section, we can choose to either set a delay or choose to show the pop-up immediately when the customer lands on the store. And if we choose to set a delay, we can update how long it takes for the pop-up to show up. So we can adjust the amount of seconds it takes and we can also adjust the percentage of the page that a customer has to scroll through for the pop-up to show up. And in terms of frequency, we don't wanna spam customers when they land on our store. So we only want the pop-up to show once and if they decide to click out of it without putting their phone number in, we don't want it to show again. So I think that the default settings here are gonna be perfect and they're ready to go. Now we can select finish and save form and then we're gonna to choose to assign it to a new flow and then click save. 
And when we click on the flows tab on the left hand side of the screen, we can see that the campaign that we just created is currently active. So let's click the edit button and jump in and take a look. So now we can see how this flow works. Once a customer opts in by giving us their phone number at the pop-up that we just created, they'll automatically receive this text message with the 10% discount code. So if we click here, we can take a look at the actual message. This is what the text will look like when your customer receives it. So it's going to start with the name of your store and it's going to say 10% discount has been unlocked. Your code will be automatically added to checkout. Good for all purchases on our site. And it gives them a link that includes the discount code. So once they click on that, the discount will automatically be added to their cart. That text looks good to go, but if you decide you want to update it for whatever reason, you can do so right here in the box. And now the last step is going to be to select the stop to opt out option. This is going to give your customers the ability to opt out to stop receiving those text messages. This is going to be an important piece to staying compliant. So be sure that you have that, uh, that box selected and then click save. And this is good to go. The first step is complete. We're ready to begin collecting subscribers through the opt-in form that we just created. So now it's time to schedule a broadcast for Black Friday and Cyber Monday to those subscribers to let them know that we're running a promotion on the site. This is going to allow us to cheaply increase traffic and drive more sales profitably to our businesses. So let's go ahead and select Create Campaign to get started. Now let's start by naming the campaign. I'm going to name this one Pre-Black Friday Sale because I'm going to send the first text out a couple of days before Black Friday actually starts. And we have the option to curate the audience for this campaign. And as you can see, we have a several options to choose from, but for this one, I'm just gonna leave it at all tech subscribers so that everyone on our list will be notified that we're about to run a Black Friday sale. As we scroll down a little bit, we have the option to directly edit the text message, or we can decide to choose one of the already high converting templates that SMS Bump provides. So we're gonna go ahead and decide to check out some of these templates. And as you can see, they have templates ready to go for different holidays. So here's one for Thanksgiving, a few for Halloween, and I see a couple for Black Friday. Since mine is going to be a pre-Black Friday sale, I'm going to go ahead and select this template right here. So this is what the text looks like. It's going to say, get a jump start on Black Friday with this discount code and get X percentage off your purchase from our website. So now we need to go in and set that discount value before we send out this text. We can see that they have it laid out for us right here. So let's go ahead and select set up. And now we have a few different options to choose from. We can either, either decide to create a unique discount code for each customer or have all customers receive the same discount code. Now it's recommended that each customer receive their own discount code. So we're gonna leave that option um, checked. And now in terms of the discount setup, we can decide to do a fixed amount, a percentage, free shipping, um, whichever we like. So I'm going to have this one be a fixed amount. I'm going to give everybody a $10 off discount. And we also have the option to add in a specific landing page that we want to drive customers to. So if you have one main product on your store, you can go ahead and add in that sub page, that sub URL that's going to direct customers directly to that product page. So you can go ahead and add that in right here. But if we just leave it as is, it's going to send customers directly to the home page. So I'm going to click apply. And we can see that the text message has been updated. It now says, get a jump start on Black Friday with this discount code and get $10 off your purchase from our store with the link, um, sending them directly to the homepage since I didn't put in a specific product page um, URL. Scrolling down, now we're gonna schedule the text message. So since it's a pre-Black Friday sale, I'm gonna wanna send this out probably about three days before Black Friday. So I'm gonna aim for this Tuesday right here, November 23rd. And I'm going to send this text out in the evening, maybe at around 7 p.m. because that's a good time, um, a likely time that customers will be on their phones. So click enter. And now that's set. This text will be sent out a few days before Black Friday at 7 p.m. And now one last thing is we want to be sure that we enable smart sending because we don't want customers who recently received text messages from us to get more text messages. We don't want to feel we don't want customers to feel like we're spamming them. So we're going to leave that in enabled. Um, we're going to click review campaign. Now, since this is a brand new account and I don't have any subscribers yet, it's not going to let me go through the process, but basically you're going to click review campaign and then publish it. And so now you can follow the same exact process to schedule as many text messages as you want, or you can use SMS bumps, new campaign planner to schedule your black Friday and cyber Monday campaign. And once you click through to the campaign planner, you'll see why it's so easy to use. They've really already done all the hard work to build a high converting campaign for you. And as you can see, they already have the predetermined dates and templates available to use. 
All you'll need to do is go in and customize the discount codes in the landing pages for each template, just like we went through in the previous example. So I would go through and customize and schedule each Black Friday and Cyber Monday text that they have available. So I would do this one on November 10th, November 15th, November 20th, the 23rd, and the 26th. And I think that will set you up very well for capturing all the added traffic and sales that come with Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And that's all I have for you in this one. I'll have a link to the previous tutorial at the end of this video. If you got any value at all, please be sure to drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you had any success with SMS Bump, please comment your results down below. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one.